Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. And today our topic is about Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, if there is anyone from Jehovah's Witnesses and he would like to call me, please feel free. Only Jehovah's Witnesses, no Christians, no Muslims, no one. So if you are a Jehovah Witness and you'd like to give me a call, please feel free and we will be happy to have you with us. If you do not know how to call me, give me your ID and I will call you in Skype. So today our topic is about Jehovah's Witnesses. First of all, what is Jehovah's Witnesses and who is the founder of this belief? Uh, there is sometimes funny stories we hear about people. And Jehovah's Witnesses founder is no different. He is the same as Muhammad in many ways. Uh, somebody wrote a book about the founder of Jehovah's Witnesses and this was in his time not like long time I mean at the time of his existence not after his death or so he wrote a book about him and this uh, this person who his name or they call him uh, Pastor Russell uh, he was upset And he decided to take this person to court. And in the court, he accused that the one who wrote the book he is writing things which is not true about him. So, to make the story short, this is what happened in the court. The lawyer he asked, Russell, do you know Greek? Which mean a Greek language, you know. Uh, Russell, he said, "Oh yes, oh yeah, for sure I know. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you know. When you say oh yes, it's mean like you are not only you know the language, you are a professional in it. Remember, the Greek here is a very important key point of the conversation because uh, this person giving false information about the Bible, and he is claiming that he knew Greek language." You know what I mean? So it's very important that this person he knew Greek, otherwise, all his writing is is false. It's like saying to you, the verse in the Quran doesn't say this, but it says that, but I don't speak Arabic. Which means I'm correcting somebody's translation, but me myself, I need a translator to translate to me. You know what I mean? Like today, uh, things is easier. I mean, there is many websites which have, like, uh, let us say, uh, the language. Like, you can just even the software. You can post a word and give you all the uh, opportunity for the word to be as a meaning. So things is is a lot easier now. What we are talking about a while ago, when there's no internet, there's no computers, nobody heard of those things yet. So do you know Greek language? He said, oh yes. I don't know if uh, if the text is clear for you to read. He said, oh, yes. Let us zoom in. Then the lawyer, my friend, what we have to do with the Mormon now? I mean, don't we have a topic? Focus with me. Let us be adult. We are talking about falafel. Tomorrow we can talk about a different story. The topic is Jehovah's Witnesses. So the topic is Jehovah's Witnesses. You want me to talk about everything at the same time? Do you want me to, like to be like Muhammad? One word about uh, Jesus, the second word about beating his wives? Wait, what is that? Come on, focus. So, do you know Greek? He said, oh, yes. Then uh, they told him, so if we show you some alphabet, Greek alphabet, can you read it? So, are you familiar with the Greek language? No. <laughs> what a comedy. So, this guy who want to translate the Bible for us, and he want to teach us a new cult we never heard of. And he want to fix the, the what is written in the Bible. He himself did not know how to read the Bible. Like Muhammad, Muhammad, he came, he don't speak Arabic, he don't speak Greek, he don't speak Hebrew. 
and yet he want to correct what the Christians believe. So, do you know Greek language? Do you know the Greek? Oh, yes. Are you familiar with the language? No. So, how you know Greek, but you are not familiar? And here you notice right away that this, this person obviously is a fraud. So, he never thought they would go into this conversation. He thought they would say, he wrote, I wrote, etc. But he never thought they would go into ask him if you know Greek about what you wrote. Because his, his written involving Greek languages, which is supposed he is correcting what it's the real meaning of it. But he did not know Greek, and he was lying. Uh, question. You don't profs then to be a schooled in Latin language? Like, do you have a, do you claim that you have any education in Latin language? He said no. Or in Greek? He said no. <laughs> do you see it? Now, the story is very, I mean, you can read it, uh, you know, you can take your time to read the whole, uh, the whole thing happening in the in the court in the in the court, so you can you know laugh and uh, uh, you know this is a joke. This is a stupid. So if this person is proven to be a liar, how we can follow a liar? Now we go and talk about Jehovah's Witnesses directly. Forget about this guy. He is a liar. The rest of them they are not liars. They are deceived. Now who is a Jehovah Witnesses is willing to give me a call? Who is a Jehovah's Witnesses is willing to give me a call? We find you in every corner, but we will, don't tell me we will not find you here. Any Muslim? We find you in every corner. And by the way, when I find you in the corner, you run away from me. So who is a Muslim when I give us a call to prove to us, oh, sorry, a Muslim, did I say a Muslim? Uh, a Jehovah's Witnesses, he want to give us a call and prove to us that we are wrong as a Christians. Anyone? Do we have any Jehovah's Witnesses? Look like Jehovah's Witnesses disappear, even though I announced since the morning that I will be live on air today. All right, well, we have a Jehovah's Witness. She is a lady. She posted in, uh, they don't use the internet, really? Uh, okay, it's, is it Haram? Uh -huh. So we have a lady here. She posted for us some of what the Jehovah's Witnesses believe. Her name is Kelly Kelly. Uh, because I spoke in that video about Jehovah Witnesses, so this is what she said. They do believe in Jesus and believe Jesus is our Savior. Like the Bible says, you know what, when you say our Savior, you make me laugh because you Jehovah's Witnesses believe that there's only 144,000 will go to heaven. <laughs> so what do you mean he is our Savior? <laughs> Are you in the bus? <laughs> So there's for one one thousand one one sorry one hundred forty four thousands. They are only saved. The rest they will not go to heaven. So what do you mean you are saved? What do you mean? This is one of the silly things about those people. They have no idea. They are poor people. They you know they they lie to them. They fool them. They did not tell them that only forty four one thousand four hundred forty uh, uh, one one thousand one hundred forty four thousand. Sorry guys. They they will go to heaven and the rest they are not going to go to heaven. So what do you mean we are saved? And by the way, why only one for one hundred forty four? You know the Bible mentioned the one hundred forty four. But what what that may, what what that have to do with you? I thought those are from the tribes of the Jews. And by the way, most of those who they, the the one hundred thousand forty four thousand they live in New York. So if you are not from New York, you will not go to, to go to heaven. 
This why I'm moving there. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking to move to New York. Then it says here, Jesus is a son of God, and Jesus is God first creation. Okay, who is a Jehovah's Witnesses when I call me and show me how God, how Jesus is created as first a creation of God? Who is a Muslim? What's wrong with me today? I'm used to say almost oh, then who is a Jehovah's Witnesses would like to go <laughs> sorry guys I'm not concentrating <laughs> who is a who is a Jehovah witness would like to call us and tell us how Jesus is the first creation of God how you come to this conclusion what does that mean exactly anyone yeah I'm not concentrating very much even though I did not take hashish yet which means I did not read the Quran Anyone? You see, uh, let me remind you, English is not my first language, so you have upper hand if you speak good English from me. There's many things even you might say to me in the English language, I might not even understand you. So you have, you, you, you can win. You, are, you have a high possibility to break me pieces. I mean, I have a weakness, I have to admit, English is not my first language. So who wanna do it? How you say that Jesus is not God, he is just the Son of God, and he is the first of a creation? Anyone? Any? Uh, somebody is saying 144,000 from many nations. Mm, okay. Are you a Jehovah Witnesses, my friend? The one who is saying it for many nations? Who is a Jehovah Witnesses? Come on. Okay, I'm going to take my computer and stand in the corner of my road. Maybe I can get them. Actually, this is a question. Why Jehovah's uses in, uh, they are using Jehovah, not uh, Yahweh? You see, because the word Jehovah is a kind of a translation of uh, Yahweh, <laughs> which means even there they get it wrong. But anyway, this is not really important much for me. Any Jehovah Witnesses want to tell us what's happening? Why? How Jesus? How in your conclusion? You know what? Forget it. Let us read. As wisdom in his... Uh, a per human existence Jesus goes on a stay on say that he was by God's side a master crafts man and then they quote for you a verse from the uh, from the Bible I mean how you can refute that how you can refute that okay in harmony with his rule as master uh, uh, craftsman and then she quote another verse says here 116 says that Jesus th uh, through him God created everything in heaven and in earth mm, okay so God created everything through Jesus in heaven and in earth you know what I'm going to go to the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, translation this is Jehovah's Witnesses translation which is absolutely false translation I'm playing. Why is that playing? The good news according to John. Hmm. Chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a God. Okay. Here you notice right away that Jehovah's Witnesses, not only they are fraud, they added things and they changed things. They said the Word was a God. That means Jehovah's Witnesses believe in many gods. If we ask anyone from Jehovah Witnesses right now, how many God you have? They say one. But this is a God. Do you believe in a gods or you believe in one God? They say to you, we believe in one God. So Jehovah Witnesses are people who they are very naive and they are fooled by their masters 
who they cannot answer those questions if you remember I have a video in France I asked the same question for those who they are Jehovah Witnesses in the corner the video is there I said here you have a wrong translation do you believe in one God or many gods how many God who is a Jehovah Witness when I answer me how many gods you believe in you see if you go to Jehovah's Witnesses they have a page that says who we are like what what they believe in hmm? this is the page what Jehovah's Witnesses do believe look what they say we worship the one true Almighty God this is the same website they worship only one true mighty God and then even they come to you with a name Jehovah <clears throat> But then we find them saying that there is God's and the word was with God and the word was a God. So that's mean there's God and there's God's beside God. <clears throat> so look what they did. They changed the translation, the correct translation. There was no, there's no a God. What a God? When you say a God, it's mean unknown. There's many of them, and we do not know. A God. You say like anyone who speaks English, even English is not my first language, but when you say a, a pen, a tree, a car, like it's unknown, you know, a man. We don't know who. There's many men, but there's a, a man. When you say the man who I saw, I'm speaking about specific man. So was a God. Okay, who is the a God? We are talking about they will say to you this is Jesus but you just told us that you believe in one God and you Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe in the Trinity so how God is only one true God and yet you said Jesus was a God which means he is one of many anyone from uh, GW night club have an answer this is a night club a guy who was a drunk he is saying things he cannot explain it and look if we continue we hear this this one was in the beginning with God this one hold all on. things came into existence hold on 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 man hold on this one like what okay hold, hold on let us go to john hmm. the same was in the beginning with god now this one was in the beginning with god so here we have the word one okay who is this one who you are talking about any uh, one from Jehovah's uh, witnessing for nothing can tell us who is this one you Jehovah witnesses are speaking of this one this one was in the beginning with God okay the, the, if we ask Jehovah witnesses they will say to you uh, this is Jesus okay as long this one he was Jesus and he was from the beginning with God. Then how we can explain what this lady here, she said to us, as we see. Jesus was a master craftsman, and she is quoting from the Bible, in a harmony with his role as a master craftsman. Craftsman says Jesus that through him God created all things in heaven and on earth and then she continue oh she will go to the temptation just me skip this one for now we will go back uh, where she speak about the same topic here we go while Jesus is an often called the son of God in the Bible nobody in the first century ever thought that him is being God's son I mean, this is the most stupid thing ever. 
if Jesus always called himself the son of God how you say nobody calls <laughs> believe that he is a son of God <laughs> Nobody, nobody, Jesus, Jesus is often called the Son of God, often called the Son of God. Where? In which book? In the Bible, right? Okay. Now, she is saying here that the term Son of God, never used in the Bible, but isn't it the Bible says that when J Jesus, he got baptism, the, 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 the sky opened and the Holy Spirit spoke and says, this is my only begotten Son. Is it true? So what are you talking about? So here, the, in the first century, nobody came with this existence uh, uh, phrase. Even the demon who believe there is there is one God, uh, uh, know from their existence in the spirit realm that Jesus was not God. So correctly, would they address Jesus in in a, as a separate son of God? So how you say it in the first century is nobody believed that he is a son of God. And yet you are quoting for us from the Bible that he was called the son of God even by demon. Do you see this? This is, this is, a, this is a person who have a troll in his, in his mind. And I, I, I advise you to change your medicine. In the first century, nobody, while Jesus and often called the son of God in the Bible, nobody in the first century ever thought of him as being God's son. But you just quote for me that even demon they called him son of God. And then uh, I'm just trying to quote we're uh, connected with John number one so we can go back, you know, trying to see from his con uh, like how did we, we are trying to connect the dot together because we are not able to have a Jehovah Witness when I call us, sadly. If you are a Jehovah's Witnesses, you would like to call us, please feel free. And then she says, hence, the phrase Son of God refer to Jesus as a separate created being, not as part of the Trinity. But this is stupid of you to say because you Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in the Trinity anyway. So how you say he is not part of the Trinity if there's no Trinity? And then a son of God could not be God himself. John 1, 18 says, no one has ever seen God. No one ever has seen God. We will go to John 18 and we will laugh together at what she is saying. And this is how they try to fool you when they speak about the Bible. Never take anything from Jehovah's Witnesses. They are the same as the Muslims when they quote the Bible. First, they change the translation. They change the meaning. And they misquote the words. Let us go back to the Bible. Actually, the first three verses in the Bible destroy all Jehovah's Witnesses claim. In the beginning, it was the word. And the, you know what? I'm going to use Jehovah's Witness translation. Even if it is stupid, we don't agree with it. But even in their translation, I will destroy Jehovah's Witnesses teaching. So what was in the beginning? Guys, what was in the beginning? The word beginning in the in the Greek is like arch, arch, like the or uh, archie. So, in which means is the origin, the origin. The beginning here is the origin. The origin of everything, it was the word, and the word was with God. This is Jehovah's Witness translation, as you see. And the word was a God. Okay, hold on. How the origin of it, of everything? It was the word, and then the word was a God. Do we know who is that word or it's unknown? The Jehovah's Witnesses, they will say it's known. So how do you call it a God? Any Muslim can answer? The second you add a, it's mean unknown. So is that God is known to you or not? Any... Uh, Juju, witness. And by the way, we are making fun of the of your juju. You don't believe in anything. It's called Jehovah. You are a juju cult. So look at this stupidity. Who is the word? They will say Jesus. So how you say a God? Is Jesus is unknown or known? They have no answer. Okay. Then the one was in the beginning with God. 
So before anything, he was exist. That's what the verse is saying. This one, this is your translation, Juju people. This one was in the beginning with God. A beginning of what? Before time, before anything created. <laughs> this is why the verse after it says, and all things, which mean after that, all things come to existence by that word. Do you understand, people? Anyone from the Juju land here? If you are a Juju GG, I don't care. Call me. So it says it clearly that the beginning, the origin of all things, it was the word. Which means at that moment there was nothing. Except what? Except the word, which is God. As simple as that. And then this one, and this is their translation again. They are the one who put the word one there trying to help me actually. They are giving me a hand because that confirm it more. This one was in the beginning with God. Beginning of what? As you see, until now there's no creation yet because the creation come in the verse after it. Everything is coming in order. In the beginning, it was the word. And the word was in the beginning with God. The word is not created. It was there. Do you see it? The word is already there. It's not created. So what those people are talking about? Do we have any beautiful Jehovah's Witness here? or uh, Huh? Each time I speak to them in the street, they run away from me. Anyone? And look, and then the verse number three, it says, all things come, and remember, this is not a translation we agree with. This is a translation is, 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 is false. Everything you see in front of us is false. Because anyone he come with other scriptures other than this is what? Is from the devil. This is what the Bible says. It's satanic. And this is not the scriptures. They are adding, they are changing, they are fabricating. But even in their fabrication, we are getting them busted. And then, all things came to existence through him. Hold on. Is it him or word? Who is him? Who is a Jehovah Witnesses want to tell me what is him mean? Who is this person him? Anyone? See how you can torture the skull in two seconds from the first page in their false fabricated book? All things, does it say guys in their translation, not my translation, all things? When we say all things, that means there's nothing left. So if all things came to existence by him, so how him came to existence? <laughs> oh boy. Any uh, Juju is listening? If all things came to existence, is he one of those things? Any Juju is listening? No, 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 no Muslims today. We are talking about Jehovah's Witnesses who they witness to no one. They, they are the same as the Muslim. The Muslim, they witness to Muhammad. They never saw Muhammad. They never saw Allah, but they witness. It, it, which is called false witnessing. Who is a brave Juju would like to give us a call? So look at this. You are a member in the Church of Christ Later Day Saints. My friend, you are a, you are a, you are a member of a club. This the Mormon thing is is more stupid. Even though the, those guys, the Mormon people, uh, they, they they have a guy. His name is jo, uh, Joseph Smith. There is two angels. They came to him, 
uh, they squeeze him, not like Muhammad. They gave him a Bible, and then uh, they give it to him for a few days, and he translated. And the Bible is written, brother, in the Egyptian language, and then he translated the language into English. But okay, do the guy even speak the Egyptian? Why God he gave them the Bible in the in the Egyptian language, brother? Why Jesus was an Egyptian? Jesus was speaking Egyptian when he speak to the Jews. Hello. And look, nobody saw the book. Angels gave him the book. He translated and he gave it back. Look how nice he is. He never kept his book from the library. You see, only bad people they keep the book. They don't return it to the library. <laughs> so. You know, Mormonism is the same as stupid things like Islam. Now we go back to the topic. Who is a juju when I give us a call and explain to us all things came to existence through him? All things, which means nothing, nothing was exist. Till he made it exist. Any Muslim? Uh, any Muslim? I better go. I keep saying any Muslim. I cannot get rid of it. <laughs> any Muslim? What's wrong with me? I need to make some coffee by now. I think <laughs> any Muslim. It's the same. Any Muslim? Any Jehovah Witnesses? It's the same. Same madness. So all things came into existence through Him. He. Who is a Jehovah Witness when I give me a hand? Him who? Him who? Hello? Hello? It is me you're looking for. So what Jehovah's Witnesses they do, by the way, they never knock at the door of a Muslim family. Because this is a satanic cult and they try their best to deceive only Christians. Muslims are already deceived, so why do they want to deceive them? The spirit of the devil leading them only to deceive the Christians. And Christians, you know, let me give you an example. Why weeds, they appear in your garden? Anybody can tell me? Why we have, like, you see a garden have a lot of weeds and some garden don't even have, they have zero weeds. What is the reason? Anyone knows? Weed is what? Weed is not wanted grass, right? Let us say it's damaging planet. Simply, nobody is taking care of the garden. Do we agree? If there is somebody, if there's a gardener guarding his garden, that weed will never be able to be there. So this weed can grow only in a garden which have no gardener, which means a person who is a Christian by name, but a Christian who do not know what Christianity is about, so they can fool him. Otherwise, a Christian who knows his garden very well, they will never be able to fool him in the first page in their book. He can destroy all their cult in two seconds, as we did. So, all things came to existence that's mean nothing was exist before him so how you juju people claim that jesus was created and look when they when uh, when somebody claimed to be a jehovah witnesses and he quote for you a verse from the bible if we go and examine any verse this woman or this lady she is posting for us by the way i don't think even she knew what i talk, talking about we will notice right away that she didn't know what they are talking about. The same chapter she is quoting is confirming that Jesus is God. Do you believe in the book of James? They will say yes. Okay, do you believe in the book of Matthew? They will say yes. Do you believe in the book of John? They will say yes. Do you believe in Timothy? They say yes. And I will give you an example about how their game always work. Quotation work very effective if you do not know the quotation to make it simple for you once i met a guy he claimed to be a saudi all right now you cannot play with me 
I can tell in two seconds that he is not a Saudi from his accent. And he believe I am a Saudi because I'm speaking a perfect Saudi accent. So he said to me, uh, 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 you know, uh, I really miss the country. I immigrated, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I said, where are you? What city you are born? And he told me the city he is born in. So I asked him about a street. He said, I know it very well. Actually, I heard that now they open a new pharmacy in the corner. That street does not even exist. That area I mentioned to him is not exist. So the fool, he want to confirm to me that he knew the area. Oh, yeah, I know it. Sure, sure, I know it. Yeah, actually, there is a falafel store there. I used to go there. And there is an Indian guy. He doesn't know if he's still there. Do you know he's still there? But there's no such an area exist in that city. So I said to him, but there is no such an area exists in that city. He said, oh, Alhamdulillah, I just remember this is, was in the city of Jeddah, not in the city of Rayada. I said, even in Jeddah, there is no such a thing. Uh, Kelly, give me your ID. I will give me your ID. What is your ID? I will give you a call. Is she here? Zoom in. Uh, the text is uh, is uh, is not clear. <clears throat> All right. What a great debate talking to himself. Why you don't call me, Mister San? I keep saying who when I call us and nobody call. Great debate talking to yourself. How many times I said who is a juju? He wanna call us. Right? Great debate. So if we go back to their website. Right away, we'll discover from their own false fabricated translation that this translation is the kind will make you upside down and it will make you feel dizzy and you will make you feel like you are a Jehovah Witness. Exactly. This is why they are like when they stand in the corner, like they are like in drugs, like hi. You ask them a question, they say, uh huh. Uh, let me hold on. They don't, they don't even have an answer. They have to open a website and they read for you from their website. Even though they stay four hours preparing for standing in the corner, but the second you hit them with the question, they have no answer. Hmm? Actually, let me let me find you the the video I I had with uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Give me a second. But to give you an example, you know. <laughs> Example. Uh, the same exact question I ask, I'm saying today, I asked them there in my video. <coughs> Hello everyone and peace of the Lord to all. This is uh, a Christian Prince with you and right now I am in France. Uh, it's very nice and peaceful and just wanted to record this uh, short video to share with you where I am right now. I wasn't now. expecting them to be in my way but eh, they come in my way. Here we go. Jehovah, there's Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, do you speak English, guys? Yes. You guys are Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes. Ah, all right. You know? You know, how come you have a wrong translation for the Bible? Uh, we don't have it here. I know, but how come you have wrong translation? Oh. I saw your why translation you, is very wrong. Why do you say our translation? Because I know the original translation, how it is, I mean the text. Mm. 
when you have um, a transition that says um, people can't kill and you have religion that kill, do you think... Let's that... kill. I'm talking about translation. Hmm? If you open uh, John chapter 1, verse number 1, mm -hmm. it says in the beginning it was the Word and the Word was yes. with God yes. and the Word was a God. With in your God. book. In your book. Mm. If you read the rest of the chapter, you can... You know, how, how God became a God. How God became a God. A God. You know what a God means? It means there's many gods. No. Do you believe in one God or many gods? Just, I can... I have a uh, King James Version. It's yeah. not good translation. It's not... No, no, Jehovah's Witnesses, you don't have King James. You use it's your own a, translation. That's not a problem. No, it's a problem, you, you because that will change the meaning. No, it's not... I saw Jehovah's Witnesses book. Which book is yours? If you read the... Okay, can you read for me from your book? You, from your book, in English. I can. All right. Does it say a God, or it says God? In the beginning was the Word, uh -huh. and the Word was with God, and, and the Word was a God. A God, see? Yes. How that can be? Mm -hmm. What a God mean? There's many yeah. gods. When you say a God, it means all was divine. My friend, System. when you say a, a man, yes. it means he's just a man out of many. A God, it means he is a God out of many. How many it's, gods you have? It's a small letter. I understand. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big it is. <laughs> when you Guys, it's a small letter, brother. Hey, brother and sister, it's a small letter. What is the big difference? It's a small letter. And look until now, after the, the, I mean, we are talking all this time. You have nothing to say. They have nothing to say. Hey, do you believe in one God or you believe in many gods? Until now, I'm waiting for the answer. It's a small letter. This is not the question. Who cares if it's a small letter or a big letter? Okay, a, a God. It's a God. When when the answer is coming, uh, we are waiting. Say a God. It means there's many gods. Do you there believe in many gods? Many creator was divine essence. Many creators. Yes. You who, have angels, who is the you first? Are, who is the second? You, who is the third? You have, you have angels. Angels are creators. Yes. Created who? But what kind of creature? No, no. Angels are created what? Hmm? The angels are creators, you say. Created no, what? No, no. Okay. That's who is the creator? He said, he just said angels are a creator. He said, I said, who is the one creator? He said angels. I said, okay, who the angel created who? <laughs> you said many creators. <laughs> no. You just no. said that. You just, no. you just said there's many there's creators. Mostly... Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Uh... Sorry, I don't understand very it's okay. well. Okay. When you say a god, you have a god uh -huh. with a small letter. Okay, see, you can see. Right. Yeah. What, well, what does that mean? Is it a small god? <laughs> Do we have any Jehovah Witnesses here from the family of the small letter? Kili, Kili, Jesus was given authority by God. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. But who is who is the a god, Kili? You are in the chat. Why you don't call me? Who is the one is a God? When the when your book, the first translation says that in the beginning it was the word and the word was a God. Who is the a God? Can you give me his name? Or why you are trying to call? Give me your ID. I will call you. <clears throat> give me your ID. No, no, I'm no problem. I'm, I'm I'm trying to understand from you. So, who is the a god? My friend, I my Skype is open. She did not call me, not even a second. So I don't know what she's talking about. Give me your ID. I will call you. My Skype is open. If somebody call me, you will hear it. <clears throat> Where is my ID? This is what happened when you are Jehovah Witnesses. They lost their ID. I agree. You lost your ID. You lost your identity. You lost your God. You lost your belief. I mean, even your ID you cannot find. I understand. You are Jehovah Witnesses. I mean, this is very normal to happen. Don't worry. Be happy. Now, until you find your ID, which is very funny, can you tell me who is the A God there? Who is the A-God? Who is that A-God? Uh, 
Hey, Sam, how are you, my friend? Sure, sure, Sam. Sure. Our brand, brother, Sam Shamoon, I, I don't know how many of you know him. He's a very wonderful person. So, uh, Sham, yes, uh, Sam, Sh Sham, Sam, <laughs> sure, you can call me. <laughs> because he called himself Shamoonian, so, 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 sure, so, sure, sure. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, Sam Shamoon, he will, uh, you know, he will make a shish kebab now. I'm trying to be nice. Sam Shamoon is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, my brother Sam, you can call. Who is this a God? Anyone can tell us. They don't know. They are just people copy paste like the Mohammedan. A God, a God. It's a small letter, a God. Sam, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big it is. Mm. When you say a God, it means there's many gods. Do you there believe in many gods? Many creator was divine essence. Many creators? Yes. Who, angels, who is the first? Who is the second? Who is the third? You have, you have angels. Angels are creators. Yes. Created who? But what kind of creature? No, no. Angels are created what? Hmm? The angels are creators, you say. Created no, what? No, no. Okay. That's who is the creators? You said many creators. <laughs> no. You just no. said that. You just, no. you just said there's many yes, creators. Firstly, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Uh, Sorry, I don't understand very it's okay. well. It's okay. When you say a god, you have a god uh -huh. with a small letter. Okay, see, you can see. Right. Here, what, you when you say, my friend, J. it's not about a god with a big letter or a small letter. Mm. A god, and you are the one who says god with a small letter. That means there's many gods. But if you read, um, who is the god with a small letter you are talking about there? If you look at the group, who is the god? It. Let me make it simple. Who is the god you are talking about in that verse? Mm. A god, the one with a small letter. Who is that god? Mm. Is that the <laughs> is that Jehovah? No, no. Who is that? Uh, with, with, with Jehovah. Who? With Jehovah. Who? Yes. Who? Mm. Who is the one with Jehovah? Just, just read. Oh. I, I don't know why you're going to answer my question. Who is the God which is with Jehovah? <laughs> We just said with, with. with yes, with Jehovah. Yes, yes. that God. Who but is same who is He? Who is He? That God. Is, uh, Le Dieu avec un petit G là où est-ce qu'il est et j'essaie de lui dire avec avec. Uh, avec... If you don't mind, I'm recording video. Is that okay? And I'll write over here on run away after I say I'm recording with you. So guys, all this is to ask. Okay, who is the one is with Jehovah? They have no answer. Oh, what I'm asking, who is this one who is with Jehovah? Who is a uh, from a Juju cult? Can tell us. Uh, Sam Shamoon, he have my uh, uh, Skype, so there's no way this is him. Maybe this is someone else. Or maybe he from, I don't know. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes. Oh, can you hear me, Sifi? It's me. I hear you. It's I, so I. I was wondering wh how you forgot my uh, Skype. I no, think. because I couldn't find it. I keep looking, looking. I couldn't find it on my Skype, but oh, I got right. it now. Okay, no problem. How are you, my friend? Good. Praise Jesus Christ. It's good to hear from you, man. It's been yeah. a long time. Yeah. Well, you are welcome anytime to call. So, what do you think about our topic today? You know. Yeah, I just what came is, in. Yeah, yeah, you know, we we have a lady here. She posted many posts in uh, in yeah. YouTube. And I can give you the link. You can go and read it. Her name is Kelly. Uh, okay. So maybe I don't know if you can read uh, if you can what read text in the screen. But I will send you the link, so you All can right. go down and see where it says Kelly. Kelly. Her name is Kelly. Kelly. It's not mm -hmm. in the video. In, in the comment down the video, if you open it, you go yeah. down. You will say Kelly. Kelly, and she is posting that while Jesus often called the Son of God uh, in the Bible, nobody in the first century ever thought. Uh, of him as being God's son. Is that true? No one ever thought that he was God's son or she meant to say no one thought he's God the son No, because nobody, they changed no, nobody nobody thought of him as being God's son Okay, because if she's a Jehovah's witness then she has to believe he's the son of God. So what is she trying to say? Is she here? Uh, well, suppose she's here. I asked her to call me, but she did not Okay, you just sent me something. Let me click on it. See hold on. Let me see uh, what it says yeah, go in the comment down. Okay, let me find it. Yeah, hold on. 
Okay, where is it supposed to be? Because it took me to your page, but I only see Sheikh Yoburi. Oh, you know what? This is, uh, yeah, this is because uh, this is, uh, uh, I made this video private. Hold on, let me make it for you available so you can open it. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, Sheikh Yoburi. Huh? Yeah, 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 hold on. Give, give, me, a, give me a second. I like and this then, guy. And then you will click in it again. Yeah, well, I will refute it now by the grace of God. I'll uh, actually, it it's uh, it's gone. So I have it. I have it called this. Uh, the only thing I have. You know what? Let me send you the text she sent me. Yes, yeah, send she it to me so I can read out loud. We go through it yeah. by the grace of Jesus. We'll go through it. Just send me yeah. that. I will text. copy everything she said here. This is starting from here, and this is yeah. her text. Okay. Because I'm sorry, I did a live stream. I didn't know you're going live, so I don't mean to always to, to start live stream when you do one. Yeah, well, no, I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay, here it is. It says Jesus, no more and no less than a perfect man. Yeah, she's a typical Jehovah Witness. <clears throat> Became a ransom that compensated. Yeah, this is Jehovah Witness garbage. The right to perfect human life. So Jesus could rightly be called the last Adam by the Apostle Paul, who said in the same context, just as an Adam. Yes, we know the perfect human life of Jesus. Okay, so I'm looking at it, but she's only saying that Jesus can only be a man while he's on earth, no more, no less. But what is she saying? He can't be God's son. Is that is oh, this is down in the other comment? Let us see. Here we go. Yeah, send uh, it to me. Yeah. Okay, this is the, the the other comment. I will send it separately. Yeah, and and if you want, I can answer her silly question about how can any part of God Almighty be lesser than the angels? Because I already did a series on this. All right. <clears throat> As the Lord Jesus blesses. This session and anoints my throat, you know, to give us that health we need to glorify him. Okay, so yeah, she goes right here. While Jesus is often called the Son of God in the Bible, see, yes, I was right, CP. She's saying, pay attention to what she says here. While Jesus is often called the Son of God in the Bible, nobody in the first century ever thought of him as being God the Son. Hmm. So this is a trick they play. They're saying, you can't show in the Bible where he's called God the Son. But he's called the son of God. Now, remember, she's a Jehovah Witness. Mm -hmm. I hope she's listening because I'm going to have fun with her, if you don't mind, if she's here. Sure. Is she here she or is, is she no, not? She's listening. She's listening. Okay. Now, Kelly, please don't do a tap dance because I want you to answer. You just said because the Bible doesn't call him God the son, therefore he can't be God. He's just the son of God and just a man while he's on earth. Kelly, can you show me where Jesus, uh, where Jesus is said to be Archangel Michael? Kelly, listen. Show me a single place in the Bible where it says Jesus is the Archangel Michael because I'm going to expose you for being inconsistent and that you don't believe in the Bible. Show me the words Jesus is the Archangel Michael. You won't find it. So instead of telling me to find you the exact wording, let me show you from the Bible what the Bible says in its own language. And once I do, yes, Jesus is God and the Son of God. He's both God and the Son of God. <clears throat> so... You want to play a game where I have to show you the, it's like CP. The game she's playing is like when Muslims tell you, yeah. show me where Jesus says, I am God, exact words. Right. Right. And here, not only that, you know, the, the, this, we see the dishonesty because if this is what we prove to you that Jesus is what he is, as she claims, she wants him to be, then right. as you say, okay, where in the Bible it says, where Jesus said, I am the angel and my name is Michael. <laughs> that's right. See, that's the game she's playing with us. Yeah. Same game that the Muslims play because they belong to the same father, the devil. May God save her and grant her eyes to see. Now, <clears throat> I want to take John 1 and I want to take it even from her own perverted translation. And her translation says, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was a God. Now, here's the problem. And I know she's not going to listen to me. So I'm going to see if she's going to listen for the benefit of everyone else. I want Kelly to answer the question. According to the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, how many gods created the heavens and the earth? How many gods created the heavens and the earth? Now, if she wants, I can use her own perverted Bible, the New World Translation, if she's interested. Because if she knows her Bible, <clears throat> according to the Hebrew Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, Isaiah 44, verse 24, Job 9, verse 8, Jehovah by himself created the heavens and the earth and there was no one who helped him he did it all alone so i'm going to repeat it again because she's ignoring me because she's scared because she's now going to get school according to isaiah 44 24 and job chapter 9 verse 8 it says jehovah all by himself all alone 
spread the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth, there was no one with him. So if Jesus is a God, how could Jesus as a God be with Jehovah? And how could you, Jehovah use a God to create the heaven and the earth when Job chapter 9 verse 8 and Isaiah 44 verse 24 says, Jehovah did it all by himself. There was no one there to assist him. Uh, Let's see if uh, she's going to uh, Sam, is it okay if I bring her life on air with us? Oh, please. Yeah. Let her come. Uh, Kelly, I try to, uh, to uh, text you. I don't know if you received my text. Uh, in Skype, please answer me so I can uh, you can join us. And don't worry, you know, we will be, I mean, uh, yeah, we'll be nice. We will be nice to you. We, we want to save you. We are not against you as a person. We have nothing yeah, personal we want here. You to leave your cult. Yeah. yeah, and, you, leave and, your cult. and uh, you know, uh, Sam, what you just said is very important. And this is what I'm saying here, actually. From I'm using just a simple method, uh, less complicated from yours. In their own yes. translation, I think you you know their translation where it says, "In the beginning it was the Word, and the Word was uh, uh, with God." Okay, and then yes. it says they add the a, and the Word was a God, and then they continue yes. saying. This one, yes. this one, this one who, Sam? This one, they say this one, this translation. This one was the in the beginning with God. Okay, who is this one who was in the beginning with God? They will say this is Jesus, correct? Yep. Okay, then if we go and continue, it says, all things came to existence through him. Okay, yeah. now you quote for us other verses saying that Jehovah is the one who created everything, correct? Himself, no one helped them, yep. Okay. All things here in the same chapter, their translation in John, all things come to existence before him. Does it say all things, Sam, or imagine things up? Yeah, all things. Okay, what, right. when we say all things, what does that mean? Nothing excluded, right? Yep. So is Jesus is one of those things who they are created, so he created himself? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and let me read from her translation, those passages, Isaiah 44, 24. And you guys can read their Bible online for free jw.org it's there isaiah 44 24 let me just show you what her own translation says and i know what she's going to try to say if she were at least to call i know her arguments i've studied the arguments but it seems like she's not going to say anything but anyway that's fine isaiah 44 24 folks this is the neural translation her bible and i want everyone to help me and help her okay isaiah 44 24 notice what it says here <clears throat> this is what jehovah says your repurchaser who formed you since you were in the womb. <clears throat> I am Jehovah who made everything. I stretched out the heavens by myself and I spread out the earth. Who was with me? Answer, nobody was with you because you did it by yourself. Okay, now Job chapter 9 verse 8. This is New World Translation, Jehovah Witness Bible, folks. Job chapter 9 verse 8. Now, maybe she can answer the question that we asked. Job 9, verse that we asked. Let's see if she's going to answer. Job 9, 8. He, Jehovah, spreads out the heavens by himself. He spreads out the heavens by himself, and he treads upon the high waves of the sea. So according to your own Bible, Kelly, Jehovah did it by himself. There was no one else, no other God with him. So in John 1, you have Jesus as a God bringing all creation into existence. How can that be if your Bible doesn't contradict? Can you answer the question or at least call in? No, no, Let's see if she'll I did do. not see any answer from her. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's obvious. I mean, they try to deceive you if you are an ignorant and you are not well versed in the Bible, you know. But the Bible <coughs> is so clear, actually. You know, John chapter, John, this page in front of us is alone enough to prove that all they have is false because what, what has come to existence is come by who? They will say Jesus. Okay, mm -hmm. but it says all things. Who is the one who created the angels? Yes, God. Of course, right? Jesus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. God, so yeah, but yeah. if Jesus, the one who created all things, that means he is the one who created the angels. Exactly. Okay, but he's an angel supposedly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And you know what's another thing I want to add to what you just said? They believe he's the archangel Michael. So here's another question for Kelly, and we'll wait for her answer to answer these two questions. If Jesus is the archangel Michael, the Bible is clear. Heaven is the place where angels live, just like human beings need a place to live on. And so God created the earth and then created us, right? Mm -hmm. So the earth was created before man because man has to have a place to live on. Same thing with angels. Angels need a place to live in. So God created the heavens and then the angels were created to live in heaven. Okay, that makes sense. But wait, she's telling us that Jesus, although he's the archangel Michael, God created the heavens through Jesus. That means Jesus was there before the heavens. Well, if he's an archangel 
and he was there before the heavens were created where was he living he was with where god. did he dwell he was with god <laughs> exactly but if he's with god then he's not created because nothing in god with god is created yeah so uh, kelly we're waiting for you to answer these two questions they're related uh, they told me she is uh downloading skype so she will call us as soon as she okay finishes. let's wait we'll have some fun i'll wait and go ahead the cp1 engage on let's see you want yeah. me to yeah and I'll wait. you know I'm, I'm trying you see uh, uh what what sam he do because sam is very well versed in the bible so sam he like he he surround you with verses and then you get dizzy if you are a job yeah. witness this is what he do for me i make it simple <laughs> i make it very simple Okay, we go on. You use your, our your translation, not our translation, which we don't accept. But even in your translation, it's obvious that you are playing games with yourself, not with us. Because mm -hmm. the second you say that Jesus is a God, first you deny that the existence of one God. This is number one. So how do <laughs> how you claim in your website that we believe in one God? That's a lie. Exactly. Either there's one God or there's gods. So if the world is God, okay, who is this world? If they say this is an angel, okay, that's mean. The angel before he became an angel was what? If he yeah. was a, if he was a word, well, isn't it? Ch John chapter one verse fourteen says, "And the word was it, 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 it's God." Yeah. No? But by the way, CP, something about Jehovah's Witnesses people don't know. They believe when Jesus became man, that he was no longer the archangel Michael. The archangel Michael disappeared. Yeah. He ceased to exist. Yeah. And when he and died, when Jesus died. Yeah. Yeah. When he died, mm -hmm. supposedly, then uh, uh, the, uh, Michael came uh, like uh, with resurrection. There's no resurrection, right? So exactly. what happened no, that Jesus is like, uh, like an uh, Jesus disappeared. disappeared. There's no more yeah, Jesus. Like he's just like a steam. No longer, yeah. Right. But, but here yeah. you see the, 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 the madness of this cult because either you say that Jesus is an angel or you say he is not Michael. So now if you say that Jesus was resurrected, but he is not michael that is a contradiction of saying in the beginning that he was the angel who his yeah, name is michael they don't, yeah so they don't believe yeah so all of this is is uh, just a, a, a stupid mixing of things up and the more it's mixed the more is going to be uh, actually uh, uh, hard for them and easier for us to prove them wrong now now in verse number 14 uh, sam what it says and i'm reading the translation so yes. the word became a flesh okay mm -hmm. So the word became a flesh. Okay, I want to ask Jehovah's Witnesses: Is that yes. the second Jesus became an exist, or is Jesus is exist previous to this? Yeah, now they're gonna have to tell you that's when Jesus exists and the word disappeared. Okay, but uh, okay. So if the word of, of God disappeared, that's mean the, uh, uh, God now is without a power to create anything. Yeah, exactly. They because, got problems because everything created by by Him. So yep. if Jesus disappeared, so did, did the power of God disappear? Because yeah. if you say to me and you agree that the word of uh, uh, the word is what created everything, and that word is Him, the Messiah, all things came to existence through Him. Oh. If anyone from Jehovah Witnesses can explain to us why even God need someone to make things come to exist through Him, if He is God and the other yeah. one is not God. Exactly. It, and to add to what you're saying, CP, in Hebrews 1 3 and Colossians 1 17, we're told Jesus Christ is the one who sustains, keeps everything going, gives life to all creation by his powerful word. Why does God the Father need a creature to sustain all creation, give life to all creation, when <clears throat> that power is really the Father's power that he's exercising through the Son? So then why use the Son? Why is the Son sustaining anything? What's the point? How does that work? See, this is where they're going to have problems, especially with the Old Testament, because in the Old Testament, again, the Hebrew Bible, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6, it says not only did Jehovah create the heavens and the heavens of heaven and the earth and everything in them, it says he's the one who preserves everything, gives life to everything. He does it. He doesn't use anybody. So why is he using a creature in the New Testament to sustain all creation when the Old Testament says Jehovah does it all by himself? See my point? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, we, we are waiting anyone. I mean, if this kitty, he, she cannot call. Maybe she she is uh, afraid. But if you are a Jehovah oh. Witnesses, especially if you have a beard, we like people with beard. Because I have beard, yeah. and the brother Sam, he have a beard. So we need one, one more beard, exactly. you know? Exactly. So if you are a person of a beard, and you claim knowledge, you know, of Jehovah's Witnesses, and you are a Jehovah Witnesses, please call us. 
Yeah. And you have a Joe Wooden here. His name was Sands. I don't know if he's still here listening. He, he brought up a very pathetic argument. He says, Satan is called a God. Who cares what Satan's called? We're talking about Jesus is said to be the God who created everything and sustains everything. Now, can you show me the Bible saying that about some creature? That a creature sustains and creates all things with Jehovah. So who cares what 2 Corinthians 4, 4 says? 2 Corinthians 4, 4 doesn't say that Satan created the heavens and the earth, brought all things into being and sustains everything with Jehovah. That said of Jesus and the Old Testament is clear. I want to sound like a broken record. I'm going to repeat myself over and over again. The Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament and the New Testament can't contradict the Old Testament. The Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament. I'm going to mention the verses again. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6. Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 6. Isaiah 44, verse 24. Isaiah 44, verse 24. Job chapter 9, verse 8 says, Jehovah by himself all alone <clears throat> created the heavens and the earth, preserves them, gives life to all of them, and there was no one with him. Since the New Testament cannot contradict the Old Testament, how can Jesus be a God different from Jehovah, whom Jehovah created through if the New Testament doesn't contradict the Old Testament? See? Well, we are waiting for anyone to uh, to answer. Uh, same time, uh, you know, when when somebody says that Jesus is is not God, and then in their translation saying by means of Him was life, you know, uh, uh, Sam is is it God alive? Yes, He is okay. life. So if life came to existence by Jesus, so yes. that means that. According to this, to, to, to their understanding, the one who created God is Jesus, not the opposite. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Right? <laughs> and then on top of that, someone's calling Colossians 1.16, <laughs> where it says, by, by him, all things were created in heaven, on earth, where the thrones, powers, dominions, principalities, all things were created through him and for him. Only one problem. The dishonesty of the Job Witness Bible, they inserted the word other four times. But mm -hmm. if you look at even the Greek text they have online, they have their Greek text online. It doesn't say by means of him all other things were created. But they added the word other four times to change the meaning so that Jesus didn't create everything. He created everything else. She has Skype now. Call us, Kelly. Come on, call in. And, and you notice, uh, uh, Sam, that they, trans they changed the translation to fit with their argument. You know? Yep. <clears throat> like here here you see the signs, <clears throat> excuse me, for, for, a, for a false person. Because while you are playing, <clears throat> let me drink some water. While you are playing yeah, with the both. words, playing with the words to make exactly. it fit with your argument, if you are an honest person. So, yes. if we go in the Greek language, we will find that what they are saying is is, is lie. Like you know, yes. anything in their translation which is, does not fit, and this is a challenge for anyone who's listening, including Jehovah's Witnesses. Go right now. You do not need a, to be genius, by the way, to figure out that this is a lie. You can take what is translated for you in the the, the in Jehovah's Witness translation. Anything we have differences about, which is almost everything. And then you can go to the Greek Bible, not a translation, the Greek Bible. And they have notes in the words meaning down, all right? Yep. And you can read it, and you can find right away that they are lying. So yep. the original Greek book is there. It's not It's not like, a, a, like a, we are not asking for something impossible. So when they say that Jesus did not die in the cross, it was a stick. Okay, but it says a cross. In the Greek, it says a cross. Where do you get the word yeah. stick from? So they lie, they fabricate everything. And this is a clear evidence of lying. And, and I showed them from the beginning, uh, Sam, I think you know the story. When uh, She's trying to call you, CP, by the way. She's trying to call you, she said. Uh, uh, give me your, uh, your, uh, your ID, I will call you. What trying to call me? How she will call me? Give me your ID, I will call you. <clears throat> Kitty, give me your ID. Post your ID in Skype and I will call you. I don't think she will call, but anyway. So... Everything that, the, uh, you know, I showed him in the beginning, the story of the founder of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses cult. When when he yeah. took somebody to the court, he claimed that he speak uh, a Greek. Yeah, and this sure. is a conversation. Look, they asked him, they said to him, are you familiar with the, uh, so they said to him first, do you know Greek? He said, oh, yes. You know, and this is what I, I encounter every day. I ask a Muslim, do you know Arabic? He said, oh, yes. The second I say to him, read it, he don't know. Then. Uh, and then he said, and they, they showed him the alphabet, he could not even recognize any letter. And then they said to him, are you familiar with the Greek language? He said, no. <clears throat> so yep. all your cult is based on a liar who lies saying that he speak a Greek language, but he do not yeah. know a word. Okay, so now 
you when you come to me and you say a word where this is coming from what is the manuscript for it isn't it this is a good challenge for job what is uh, sam what do you think excellent of course because this is the founder of their religion they look to him as god's mouthpiece on earth and here he's telling you he doesn't even know the languages of the bible so how can you trust his decision how to translate the bible and how they come back up what they say because when you say a word you have to show us which where we can find which is a greek or a, a, a bible it says a word show me i want to see it and then you open nice. our <clears throat> Kelly, come on, we're waiting. What's your name? We want to call you because yeah, she entered now. She did not call. She did not. So if we cannot find this A word exists in the Greek book, that's mean all of this is a fiction. Yes. It's a fa it's a fabric. And the and the Bible says it clearly that anyone bring to you scriptures other than this is what? Yes. He's a corrupt yep. person, he's a false person, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's the devil. So there's no other scriptures will be accepted except what we have between our hands. And we have the book in a Greek. And uh, as long as you are claiming that you are uh, translating the book of John, well, this is the book of John. There's no A. Yeah. All the things they add is just to make it fit with their agenda. And this yeah, is and exactly what see, false people do. That's not the only time they put the word A. In John 10, 33, they have the Jew saying, for a fine work, we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, because you're a man and you make yourself out to be a God. Go. Even in John 10, 33. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they have a God everywhere. It's a side, as I call it, right? It, yeah. And, and you know, the, the, the madness is amazing. Like the Holy Spirit is what? Is a power of action. What is that? Yeah. Is that, what, yeah, what is, is that a thunder yeah. or this is a lighting? What is that? <laughs> the power of action. So the Holy Spirit, according to them, is a power of action or in action. Yeah. It's an active force. But isn't it the Bible, uh, Sam, and correct me if I'm wrong, please. How many times the Bible says that he, the Bible called the Holy Spirit he? Yeah. Does it say and he, the word he? Okay. And even in their translation, see if you don't forget, even in their translation, the Holy Spirit speaks, the Holy Spirit has emotions, the Holy Spirit can be spoken to. Yeah. So it's not just he, it goes beyond. It has the Holy Spirit speaking in the book of Acts. It has the Holy Spirit being grieved. So... Yeah, it, it, this is the problem. Is one thing I want the people to know, CP, because they don't, they probably don't know this. Okay, that Jehovah's Witnesses do not study the Bible. They study <laughs> the writings of the society, booklets of the society that tell them what the Bible means. That's why, and don't take my word for it, you Christians. Invite a Jehovah's Witness for a Bible study. They don't take the Bible. They give you a booklet. What does the Bible really say? I believe that's the name of the book. It's been a while. I have it in my library. And they go chapter by chapter in that booklet, and then they tell you, look at certain verses that they take out of context to support what they're saying in the chapter, but they never go to the Bible directly and read the Bible directly with you. Never, never, never. You know, uh, Sam, in, in John chapter 16, and this is their translation, I'm, I'm, uh, I know the, the, the verse in the Bible, how it says he, and uh, you just, you know, like you... you uh, you know, it came to my mind. Let us open and see in their book what it says. So look what it says in 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 John chapter sixteen, verse number thirteen. This is the translation. However, when that one comes, the spirit of the truth. What that one? You see, to avoid saying he, they don't want to say the word he, right? Yeah, yeah. And that one will do what? Will speak? What is the word? Speak is gone. Yeah, right. So he speaks, right? Yeah, right there. And the spirit will hear. And look, they what? they change everything. They change everything. And then I still, uh, uh, I still have many things says to you, but you are not able to bear them now. However, when the one comes, the spirit of the truth. Then okay. look what they said. He will guide you into all the truth. Like what? You are Jehovah's yeah. Witnesses, and you are saying he? I don't know, man. This translation is sad. They, they had to make their own translation in the 50s to deceive yeah, people. But they just admitted it's he. So yeah. now it is an active force, and it is he. Isn't it he is a word we use for a person? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Like, so we see it, but they're going to explain it away because they're brainwashed. That's how why we trust it. How, it. how they, how they can explain it? They'll tell you, oh, because in the Bible you have stones and you have rocks, and they're often... Okay. Describe this if they're persons but and they. But the, you know, but the stone is a he. 
If there's a place yeah, in the Bible. Also in the translation, sometimes I'll use the he and the she for these cannot. things. You see, you are speaking to me in English. The second you are saying this is a he, it's mean it's a person. A stone is not. So even they, they use the word it many times, correct? Yep, they do. Okay, so when they speak about the Holy Spirit, don't they use the word it? Yep, they okay. do that too. But now they made a mistake because either it is a he, it or it is he. He cannot be it. I mean, anyone, English is my, my, my first language, and that would be funny if me, someone like me, is trying yeah. to correct English of somebody right. uh, like Sam or, you know, or, or somebody is born in America or he speak fluent in English. So if you say to somebody, it, it is it. Yeah. it. It is something is not alive or it's an animal. So either it is he or it is it. It can't be both. Let me just suggest, Gora, Gora, you keep posting John 20, 28 10,000 times. You may not understand. John 20, 28 works for us. It doesn't work for them because they're going to tell you, God said to Moses, I will make you God to Pharaoh, Exodus 7, verse 1. So, Gora, I know about John 20, 28. I know it's powerful, but they explain it by saying, well, Moses was God to Pharaoh. What does that prove? So I'm aware of these arguments, Gora. Be patient. I know you kept posting it over and over and over again. Now, she says her name is Kelly Bahri. Yeah, I will, Bahri. I will, I will, uh, I will find her name. Uh, okay. I Let's think, see I, I, think I, found, I found her. Uh, okay. Hopefully she'll uh, be able no, to. No, this is not. I did not really find her. I find. Uh, this is Kelly Bahri, one word. Yeah. B H yeah, but I, I found it. it says A I T yeah, it a killer, it's like uh, oh, no, yeah, it's it's killer pro broadcast boat. So maybe like this is Jehovah's Witnesses form. She's trying to get us there. I don't know. It's not a Kelly Bahri. Come on, Kelly. We yeah. don't have all she's, days. She's, she's, the, she's playing I, games anyway. Yeah, right. I did not. I did not find I, her. Name. She's gonna die soon. So unless she has something worthwhile to say, I'm wasting time. Is yeah. she gonna come on? You know. Uh, uh, Anyone who believe in no, Jehovah's Witnesses, calls. she's saying you're not calling her, Kelly. My friend, I will not find her you. name to call her. How what I will is find your her name? name? Stop playing games, you please. See, here we go. I will show everybody in the screen. I did the click and I searched for your name, and this is the only thing I found. Here we go. This is what I found. It killer, it killer. I put your name in the search, and here we go. This is your name in the search. You see it in the top. Here we go. And then it killer. I click in it. It's a form. It's called I broadcast whatever. It killer, uh, not certified. So it's like an app or something. So don't tell me you gave me your name. I did not give me your name. Yeah. Let's see. See if this one name comes up. I'm gonna send it to you. Uh, tell me if this comes up. Check this one. Do you see this? Okay. Check so. that name. We we would like her actually to talk to us so we can. Well. Yeah, I see her. She's uh, she's here. All right, let's see. We'll try this. That's one. the name. Send it. Yeah, she has, look, she's on. I see her. Okay, I see. Okay, let's go. You can take her. She, uh, no, I did not. Uh, I did not find her still. Well, if you yeah, find I her, have if you find her from yeah. your, your line, invite, uh, invite her. her. Invite her from your side if you found her. Okay, invite her. I just sent her. her. And for some reason, for me, I cannot. I don't know why it says. Uh, Kelly, come on. Okay, Kelly, I'm invite. I don't know how to invite you. What's going on? Yeah, Kelly. It says I'm not me. What does that mean? That this is I am not me. Is, is me. <laughs> yeah, this is your text you sent to me, Sam. So she's not there. This is you found me. You, you found my name, not her. Because this is between me and my ch your chat. We have the same now, the same oh name. Goodness. So you did not find her. No, this is not. I her. say Kelly. Yeah, it says Kelly Bahari and nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not it's uh, Yeah, it's false. Anyway, forget about her. She's so, wasting time. All right. So, so anyway, anyway, so if yeah. we, if we, you know, if we, uh, I, by the way, we are open to anyone who is from Jehovah Witnesses to call us. Yeah. Can anyone want to call? Not only to call us. I please destroy us. I, we want you to to make a make us yes. pieces. We are waiting for you. The Holy Spirit. Can I talk before my. My time is up. If not, then you know I'll just go on my merry way. Yeah, but he's a Chaldean. Oh, so Kelly, you're Chaldean? It's disappointing. She goes, "Oh my God, CP Kelly, can you stop playing games and look for our name and invite us? Because we look for you, you're not there. Stop the games. Just to forget about her. Who cares? I mean, she can say whatever she wants. Uh, because Kelly's Chaldean. So you're a lost Chaldean who follows Satan and his organization. May God have mercy on you. Yeah. Okay. You know, uh, Sam, I want to ask you about a verse in the Bible. Yeah. When the when the, uh, those uh, Jewish witness, they say 
that uh, uh, because they don't deserve the name Jehovah or anything to have it, they are juju, they are like false. So uh, uh, when they say that the Holy Spirit is not God, and isn't yeah. it in uh, in the Bible? And I will put the verse in the front of us on the screen, and it says here in Corinthians uh, chapter number three. Yeah. Does it say, so, but with the Spirit of the Living God? Which one? Spirit, Second Corinthians three seventeen to eighteen. Yeah. Uh, 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 chapter uh, uh, three, verse number three. Uh, uh, three. Okay, well, second Corinthians or first Corinthians? Which one? Second, second. Yeah, so what about the spirit there? We were saying, I can't okay, hear you. the spirit of the living God. Yeah. Who, uh, uh, is that a spirit that decree did, did have any, uh, like, if there's any verse in the Bible say that this is spirit, it is a person, it is not just an active force as they claim. <laughs> Yeah, I, see the word person, It's even the father is in the Bible, you won't see the Bible saying the father is a person, the son is a person. That language is not used, but the Bible uses language to show the father is a person. Because what does a person do? He speaks, He can. you can speak to him, he has emotions, he has a mind, he has a will. So yes, the whole the Bible shows the Holy Spirit speaks, he's spoken to, he has emotions, he has a will. I'll give you an example. And I'm going to use their Bible now. This is their Bible, okay. not using our Bible, their corrupt Bible. Mm. Here's Acts 13, verses 2 to 4. I'm going to just read 2. Okay. As they were ministering, Acts 13, verse 2. As they were ministering to Jehovah. And uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, in the New Testament, the word Jehovah does not appear. Yet the society shamefully added the word Jehovah 237 times in their translation. 237 times. Right. Where the Greek says, Lord, they changed it to Jehovah to confuse people. Here's one of them. It says, as they were ministering to Jehovah, challenge the Jehovah's Witness to look at the Greek. The Greek doesn't say Jehovah. It says, as they were ministering to the Lord and fasting. Now pay attention to this, CP. As they were ministering to Jehovah and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set aside for me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Now, CP, help me understand because I'm not that smart. When I was a kid, my mother dropped me on my head. <laughs> but if you have someone, if, if someone says, so-and-so said, and that person then says, put these people aside for me because I called them. So when someone speaks of himself as I and me, is that a person or a force? It's a person, obviously. So then in their own translation, the Holy Spirit speaks and he tells people in the church, set apart for me. He uses the pronoun me. Barnabas and Saul for the work which I have called them. How does an actor force speak as if he's a person and uses pronouns me and I? Sam, are you ready? I, I have, I have a, a, you know, I play karate. I did not tell you that, right? The last no, uh, he, last time I played with a prosley, uh, uh, I, I proved to him that <laughs> I break uh, karate and I made him break my nose. So look at this. <laughs> in the same in, in Corinthian second, you know, it, uh, verse number uh, chapter three, verse number seventeen, and this is their translation. I want yes, everyone. Exactly. To, Everyone who is Jehovah witnesses to read this now Jehovah is the spirit <laughs> Yeah, I mean this is your translation which is supposedly a false translation and we don't agree with it And you are changing the words and you are trying to prove to us that the Holy Spirit is an active force That's mean Jehovah is an active force too Exactly in fact uh, CP I'm going to quote another one from the Old Testament. This one's a nightmare for them and for those of you taking notes, CP quoted 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, and I quoted Acts 13, verse 2. But now here, this one, CP, this is their Bible. Guys, I want you to write down. Uh, act what? Act what? I quoted Acts 13, verse 2. That's what I quoted. Okay. You quoted 2 Corinthians All right. chapter 3, verse 17. Okay. But here's what I want people to remember. I want you to write down 2 Samuel chapter 23, 2 Samuel chapter 23, <clears throat> verses 2 to 3. Okay? I want everyone... Guys, pay attention. This is their translation. 2 Samuel 23, verses 2 to 3. Watch here. The Spirit of Jehovah spoke through me. This is David speaking. The Spirit of Jehovah spoke through me. So David says, the Spirit speaks to me and uses my mouth to speak. Spirit of Jehovah spoke through me. His word was on my tongue. The God of Israel spoke. Okay, CP, again, remember, I got dropped on my head. David just said, Jehovah's Spirit, that Spirit speaks to me. And he speaks through me, and it's the Spirit's word on my tongue. I'm speaking the words that the Spirit is giving me, and the Spirit is speaking through me. But then he says, 
the Spirit spoke through me, the God of Israel spoke. Right. So wait, CP, if the Spirit of God speaks through David, is the same thing as the God of Israel speaking through David, what does that make the Holy Spirit again? It's uh, God. Oh, wow. This is their translation? Yeah. Second this Samuel 23, this is 2 to 3? Well, I'm confused. I thought the Spirit's active force. How can he speak? Yeah. How can he have words? And how is it when he speaks, Jehovah speaks? What's going on here? Uh, you know, uh, Sam, uh, I think this is uh, over. I mean, this is history. They cannot, they, they cannot, it's obvious. I mean, you, you don't need to be a genius to understand that obviously they are playing with the words. What about this woman she wrote for us in the text that Jesus is the firstborn, meaning he oh, the first so to be created? Silly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want me to refute that? Go ahead. Okay, now this is where their dishonesty comes in. Okay, Colossians 1.15, Jesus is the firstborn of all creation. Okay, here's where people really need to study the Bible to see how language works. In the Bible, the word firstborn is used of people who are not the firstborn son of a family. I'll give you an example, okay? To make it very simple, I don't want to confuse people. Guys, write down Psalm, Psalm 89, Psalm Chapter 89, verses 26 to 27. It's talking about King David. Psalm chapter 89, verses 26 to 27. Again, I got to bring up their translation. I'm going to read it from their translation. So they don't think we're biased. Okay. Psalm 89, verses 26, 27. And if you want to know it's David, yeah. you just go to verse 20 and it tells you it's David. Verse 20, it says, I have found, my, uh, found David my servant. Verse 20, it says, I have found David my servant. So it's not about King David. Psalm 89, 20. And now Psalm 89, verses 26, 27. Guys, pay attention to how the word firstborn were, uh, is used. <clears throat> he will call, call out to me, you are my father. David will call out to me, say to me, you are my father, my God, my salvation. And now notice 27. And I will place him, I will make him my firstborn. Yeah. As firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Okay, guys, catch what Jehovah said. David, I will make him, I will place him as firstborn. Literally, it says, I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. Number one, David wasn't the firstborn of his family. He was the youngest of eight sons. He's the last. That's he's the last. So obviously, this is, so about, this is about a rank. This is not about... Uh, yeah, yeah, and secondly, but hold on. Some will say, well, he's the firstborn king. No, because Saul was king before David. So he wasn't the first king. Right. So what does it mean when Jehovah says to David... I will make him my firstborn. It says in the next line, the highest of the kings of the earth. Right. Sometimes the word firstborn doesn't mean the first one born. It means the one who has the highest position, the highest status. He's higher than everyone else. Because in biblical culture, if you're the firstborn of your family, you have the highest position second to your father. So again, let me repeat. Firstborn doesn't always mean someone born first. But the word firstborn is used for status. Because, of course, if you're the firstborn, your status is higher than anyone else. So when it says Jesus is the firstborn of all creation, is it saying he's the first one created? Or is it saying he has the highest status over all creation? And if so, why? Well, here, let's read it. I'm going to read their translation, but I'm going to omit the word other because they dishonestly add the word other in Colossians 1. Now, when I take the word other out, because even their Greek shows you, it's not the word all other it's ta panta i'm giving you the greek ta panta means the all everything not all other things now guys let's read colossians 1 15 and 17 to see what it means for jesus to be firstborn i'm going to read their translation but i'm going to remove the word other because it's not in the greek <clears throat> colossians 1 15 and 17 he is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of all creation and then explains why because, see, Paul is explaining. Why is he the firstborn? Here's the reason. Because by means of him, all things were created in the heavens on the earth. The things visible and the things invisible, whether they are thrones or lordships or governments or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. Also, he is before all things. CP, catch that. It says that Jesus is before all things. And by means of him, all things were made to exist. So let me ask a question. If Paul says the reason why Jesus is the firstborn is because God the Father used Jesus to create all things, and all things were created for Jesus, and Jesus exists before all things, and Jesus is the one who keeps all things alive, then how can Jesus be a creature when it says right here, he existed before all things, meaning all creation, 
He's the one who created all things, meaning all creation, and all creation was made for him. So how can he be a creature? Yeah. CP, what's it? How can he be a creature? Well, uh, obviously they are. You know, they are trying their best. You notice here when they say they add what are the words, uh, Sam? They are trying their best to divert the sentence from its meaning. But even if you, even if you put the word there, the one you took it off, when yeah. you say others, right? Even yeah. we put the word others, it still is not going to work for them, because no, no. because in in uh, in John chapter one, there's no others. It says all things. Says, yeah, all things came into existence. They okay. can't get around it. And as long Jehovah Witnesses, if you ask Jehovah Witnesses, they say, do you think that uh, the Bible have uh, this uh, contradiction? They will say no. Okay. So how here says, it says others, but there it says all things are created by Him. Yeah. You know. And so, then. CP, not to cut you up, but just to prove to you that firstborn here means that he's the one who is supreme, right. superior, higher than all creation. Verse 18, here's the answer. Paul then tells you what it means. And he, Jesus, is the head of the body. He's supreme over his body, the congregation. He's the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. Now, here's the answer. So that he might become the one who is first in all things. That's why he's firstborn. He has the highest position over all creation, not because he's a creature, but because he created all things. He keeps all things alive. He is older than all things, and all things were made for him. And he conquered death, and he's the head of the church. So then everything, he's supreme. That's what it means. Right, right there. Yeah. The context. You know, I'm, uh, I'm looking at, uh, at their translation. Uh, I'm trying to understand how, how Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, uh, like, uh, their writing work. So here, if we go to this uh, verse here, uh, Corinthians chapter 1 and let's go to verse number 15 uh, Let us see what they say about that. I'm trying to compare Okay, here it says he is the image of the invisible God Okay, so How how the angel is the image of the invisible God? So what's wrong with you come on CP what's wrong with you? you no, know, because an angel is an angel uh, The angel he have an image of an angel. That's it. He's an angel, you know, so yeah How he is and uh, he is an angel, but he is the image of the invisible God and because... the first born of all things, but I but okay So if Jesus is the first born of all things, that's mean Jesus first of all uh, He because here it says of all creation. So he is born of what creation? Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. A, what a creation we are talking about because he's born according to what they are trying to bring to us. He is born of all the creation. Okay, is other creation are born or created? Yep, exactly. Any uh, from one from Jehovah Witnesses have an answer? No, I don't think when we say, way, Steve, yeah, go ahead. Just to let you know, according to Hebrews 2, the earth. <clears throat> To come, the world to come is not for angels, it's for men, human beings. Yeah. And when God created the earth, he created it for human beings to rule. So if Jesus is an angel, how can the earth be made for Jesus if he's an angel? That's a contradiction because God didn't make the world for angels. He made it for uh, human beings to rule on his behalf. So how can it be made for Jesus? You know what? If Jesus just, is an angel. You just gave me an idea, uh, Sam. Uh, oh, yeah? Okay. If Jesus is everything created by him, all right, and then the Bible, if we go in the first uh, uh, Genesis uh, chapter one, number one, can you read for us the first uh, few verses, uh, Sam, so you can have Genesis chapter one? Yeah, let me get it yeah, for you in there. Yeah. How, how, okay. how our God, he created things, because we need to know, because remember, all things are created by him, who him, supposedly Jesus, right? Yeah. Okay. So Genesis chapter number one, what does, what does it say? It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and desolate, and there was darkness upon the surface of the watery deep. And God's, look how they translate it, God's active force instead mm. of spirit. But no it's problem. actually Elohim. No problem. Uh, but at this moment, supposedly, <laughs> in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Here we notice something very, very, very wrong in their, in their understanding. So in the beginning, who is the one who created everything? God. Yep, God. But did they say that everything created by Jesus? Yeah. Okay, but it says here that this one who created everything is God. Yep. But that's, that's why they have a problem. That's, that's why Jesus is fact, God. Yeah. In fact, to prove your point, let's look at Genesis chapter two, verse four, the second one. Look at this one, Genesis chapter two, verse four. All right. Thus the heavens and the earth and everything in them were completed. Now watch, uh, verse four. 
This is the history of the heavens and the earth in the time they were created, in the day that Jehovah God made earth and heaven. Jehovah God made earth and heaven. Thank you. Genesis 4. So who is the one who made everything? Jesus. Everything created by him and for him. Jesus. Yes. He is the one. He is. He was the word and the word was a God, but everything created by him. Okay, that's, we got it. And now the one who created the earth and the heaven is Jehovah. So you just admitted that he and Jehovah is one. Yep. 100%. So this is the same as when the Muslim he says to me that uh, 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 you know Jibril is an is a Holy Spirit. Okay, where we can find that in the Quran, they cannot find it. So they have to fabricate a conclusion <clears throat> which we cannot find really, and they come to say, oh, "Okay, who is?" Because the Prophet is in the Hadith, etc. That uh, Jibril is an angel. Now, if we ask Jehovah Witnesses, where do you get this from? They say we got this from our book, but this is your book. We are reading your translation. You see, until now. Nothing in the screen is what we accept as a translation from our Bible because, by the way, the reason I say I don't accept anything there because if you change one word in the whole book, that book is not valid for me no more. That's yep. it. And, and the reason here, you see, I'm not talking about a changing of a translation because you can say uh, I translate the word roof, you make ceiling. You say it's ceiling. Eh, it's the same, right? So we are like, it's very close. So, but here there is intention change, which is mean your intention is to fabricate. It's not a mistake. It's not an error of translation. So the intentional changing is not even working for your benefit. And to, then to prove your point, CP, if you read all the passages that we use to prove Jesus is God in their translation, don't take my word for it. I want the Christians to see. Go to John 1, 1. They change it. When it says Jesus is God, it's a right. God. John 10, 33. Where it says you make yourself out to be God, it's a God. Uh, Titus, uh, any passage that has something to say about Jesus being God, Creator, Almighty Jehovah, they change it. Only one they they failed to change was John twenty twenty eight. There they still have Thomas saying to him, "My Lord and my God." Yeah, and you know what? Uh, 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 there's something we did not cover, uh, uh, Sam. I, I don't know if you're uh, uh, busy, but uh, what about uh, Jesus forgives sin? Isn't it the Bible have many verses saying only God forgives sin? Yes, uh, Mark 2, 7, even the Jews said, why is this fellow blaspheming, blaspheming? Who can for, forgive sins but God alone? Thank you. And, and Jesus shows uh, he has power to forgive sins on earth, and he heals the man to prove it. Yes. Yeah. But they'll always explain it away, saying, oh, but God gave him that authority. See, this is what they like to do. But God no, gave no, no, no. When, when the Bible says only God can forgive sin, that's mean only. I mean, uh, right. I mean, we... We are not kids. We know what only mean. When I say only this person can do that, it's mean there's, if you say only and you don't add right away and, uh, um, it's mean there's, uh, it's, it's, it sounds funny to say uh, only and then you no, are, but it yeah, but it, 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 when you say only, that's mean that's it. Only God yeah. forgives sin. Actually, this is why the Jews, they wanted to kill Jesus because he made himself equal to God. Who is this person who want to forgive sin? And Jesus said to them, which one is is easier? To say, uh, carry your bed or uh, you know your sin is forgiven which one is easier because they they were questioning uh, how how this person he says such a thing if you go to uh, let us say Luke I want to see the translation for this one here uh, Luke chapter 5 let us see what they're saying in their translation yep. verse number 21 let us see how they make it <laughs> if you go to Luke 5 20 see what they say after this, I'm going to give you one passage from their translation. It'll be knockout. It'll be over after you do this. One, just one verse from their translation. Uh, Watch uh, uh, Sam, in, in chapter uh, in Luke chapter five, verse twenty-one, it says, "And then the scribe and the Pharisees started to uh, to reason, saying, Who is this who speak blasphemy? Why why they are saying that? Because he said that your sins are forgiven you.' In verse twenty. Thank you. And why this is a blasphemy? What, so what if you forgive sin? Are you saying there's nobody can forgive sin except God? Exactly. Right. So Jesus in the verse before says when he saw their 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 act their their faith he said, "Man, your sin are forgiven." You see, Jesus is saying not praying that he may God forgive your sin. You see, no. This person no. who is the supposedly the Messiah here is talking, and this is their translation. He is speaking with assurance. Your sin is gone. That's it. It's forgiven. Now, if you are a priest, you cannot do that. If you are a, a, a bishop, you cannot do that. If you are Sam Shamun, a Christian prince, you cannot do that because we are sinners and sinners cannot forgive sin. 
Only one percent. can forgive sin, which is the Holy God. Because you see, to, to forgive sin, you have to be qualified. You are over sin, so you are a sinner. But you are, it's like it's like somebody is the outlaw, and he is the judge in the court. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. See, that, that, that's why it's good to do these programs because Muslims use Jehovah Witness arguments to attack the Trinity. So although you're focused on Jehovah's Witnesses, I want people to understand. Muslims run to Jehovah's Witnesses to attack the Trinity. So when you refute a Jehovah's Witness, you're refuting Muslims. And so I want to give them one knockout verse for everyone, CP, because unless a Jehovah's Witness is calling in, Sam. I have to uh, I have to do something. So if Sam. someone's going to call, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna gonna let you. I will let you go. But I, I, one thing before you go. In the yes. same chapter, it says here, who is yeah. this who speak blasphemy, who can forgive exactly. sin except God alone? <laughs> and look. Yep. Did she say to us in the first early Christianity, nobody called him the son of God, whatever she said? Okay, those are the Jews in the time of Jesus. And if you tell me that the Jews have wrong understanding, who, who is the one can forgive sin? That's mean it would be foolish of you to say that Jews don't know that only God can forgive sin. And this is the first season that in front of us. Who is the one can forgive sin? That's mean in the teaching of the Jews never exist that the prophet can forgive sin, correct? Mm -hmm. No man can forgive sin. No angel can forgive sin. Who is the one who can forgive sin except God? Yeah. So, by the and this is the translation. You just to prove that Jesus is God, because even either, the Quran, even the Quran agrees. Chapter three, verse one thirty-five. It says, "Who can forgive sins except Allah alone?" Chapter three, verse one thirty-five. Exactly. But so the Quran agrees as well. But look what happened but, here, Hassan. Look what happened. If if yeah. if the verse here says, "Who can forgive sin except God alone?" And the same line says that Jesus forgives sin. So here we have one of two situations. Either Jesus the Christ was a false person, forgiving sin, breaking the command of God that nobody can forgive sin except him, God, or Jesus himself is God. So as long as the Jehovah Witnesses agree that Jesus is a God, whatever that a God is, and he yeah. is the one who forgives sin alone, that's mean there's no a God. There's one God only. And you got yourself busted. Thank you, uh, yeah. Sam, for, for being yeah, with no, us. Thank you. I'm going to end it with this one because they're not calling in. I just want to give them this and you can, you know, you continue because I'm going to have to rush out if no one's going to call. All right. uh, but guys, this is for the rest of you. New World Translation. Kelly's listening. New World Translation. Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. I'm going to even post the link in the comment section. Here you go. Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. Guys, pay attention. <clears throat> Oh, I couldn't do it. But anyway, Revelation chapter 5, verse 13. Guys, listen to this. I'm going to break it down so Kelly is going to have a nightmare tonight so that she can re return back to the Trinity and give up on the kingdom hall. Pay attention, folks. Revelation 5, 13. And I heard, John speaking, I heard every creature, not some, not many, every creature in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth and on the sea and all the things in them saying. I have to repeat it again. Christians, please listen to this. This is their translation. Use it. They have no answer for this. Let me repeat it again. I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth and on the sea and all things in them saying. So John tells you every creature you can imagine in every created place, every creature everywhere. He doesn't leave anything excluded. Every creature in every place in creation saying, now notice what every creature says. To the one sitting on the throne and to the lamb, the one sitting on the throne, God the Father, and to the lamb, be the blessing and the honor and the glory and the might forever and ever. Then verse 14, the four living creatures were saying amen and the others fell down and worship. So Kelly, your witness, here's your nightmare. Every creature that exists in every created place worships Jesus the lamb in the same way they worship God the Father because I want you to see what it said. To the one sitting on the throne and to the Lamb, not just God the Father, and to the Lamb be the blessing and the honor and the glory and might, not for some time, but forever and ever. So here's my question to you, Joe's Witnesses. How can Jesus receive the same exact worship that the Father receives from every creature in all existence forever and ever if he's a creature? This would be idolatry and blasphemy. But secondly, more importantly, John said every creature in heaven— on earth, beneath the earth, in the seas, all things in them. That means every creature that exists everywhere is on one side, and Jesus the Lamb is not part of them, 
John sees Jesus the Lamb on the other side, on the side with God the Father, separate from every creature. If Jesus is a creature, why is he separate from them? Why isn't he included with them? Why isn't he worshiping the Father? Instead, he's separate from them and being worshipped with the Father. This is your nightmare. It proved Jesus is uncreated, eternal, and worthy of the same glory the Father sees because he's God Almighty, one with the Father. Joe Witness, this is your Bible. This is your nightmare. End of story. Thank you, uh, Sam, for being with us. And people, they are asking what verse you were reading. Some people did. Revelation 5, verse 13. That's why I repeated it more than once. Revelation 5, 13. All right. Revelation 5, 13. Save it. End of story. CP, I'll see you soon. Keep praying for me. God bless you. We will stay in, in, in touch. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my God brother. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. So do we have any Muslim? Uh, any Muslim? What I should do? I any Muslim? Today is not for Muslims. Today is for the other side of the coin. Jehovah's Witnesses. It's the same cult anyway. I mean, it's. Uh, do we have any uh, any juju? Who is a juju here? Well, anyway, I mean, Jesus is not God, my friend, according to Jehovah's Witnesses. But look, this is their translation. This is their books. What do well in him? Look at this. Look at this. Look at the translation. We are using their translation, which is full of fabrication. Still, we are getting them busted with no mercy. This is what we are reading here. Oh, this is First Corinthians. Hold on. <clears throat> Let us see this one. This one is fun. Do we have any uh, juju witness? You don't, you know, even they come with the name of Jehovah in their, in their book, and we don't know even how they got the name there. I don't know. And they witness for Jehovah. But they don't even know who is Jehovah. They are confused. Look at this. Uh, because God was pleased pleased to have all fullness to dwell in him dwell in who in him and through him reconcile to him all other things reconcile to him hmm mm. and then what by making peace through the blood this is what the verse is saying. Anyone is uh, Jehovah Witnesses here? Uh, who agree with the verses here? Who agree that because God pleased to have all the fullness to do well in Him, Him who? Who is a Jehovah's Witnesses can tell us who is God? Who is pleased to have all fullness to do well in him? Him who? Anyone from the Jehovah Witnesses is here? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Who, who we are talking about? If we go in the same book but different chapter, we will find uh, something else. And remember, I'm using their translation, not my translation. This is not our translation. This is have nothing to do with our translation. This is their translation. Because it is in Him that all the fullness of the divine equality dwell in 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 the in the body. Do you see it? Him who Christ. Divine. I mean, this book is supposed to design the translation to prove to you that the Christ is not divine. This is their translation. This book from the beginning to the end. They added words, they took off words, they fabricate words to make you believe that Jesus is not divine. 
But do you see what it says there in the front of your eyes? <laughs> this is your translation. Who is a Christ? Your translation is saying, because it is in him that all furnace of the divine equality do in, in, in the body. So Jesus has the quality of the divine. And it's a divine who is in a human being body. So how you reject Jesus to be God? Oh, no, no, we don't reject. We say he is a God. But we just showed you the other verse where it says that this is about God, God, which the one you call Jehovah. And all mankind, they belong to Christ. All the good ones, they belong to him. Do you see it? So I don't know. I mean, this is this is a very silly cult. But maybe we should we should take some uh, action with them from time to time to show everybody that this is a very very stupid religion, and uh, the easiest way if you are someone who don't have too much knowledge, just go just uh, you know you, you know you just go to uh, you see here I open by the way. Uh, this is a this is a website. It's a show you the word in in the in the Bible and in Greek language. And they say that Jesus was a crucified in a st in a stick. It changed the translation, but this is the word, which is a cross. This is the word in Greek, the Greek Bible as it is written. It is a cross. They lie. They lie. Well, they are big. You see, any they 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 grow in any place. That means the place is a, is a is a stupid place. Sadly to say. I just said that weed they grow only if the garden have no gardener. You know what I mean? That's mean the Christians in Canada are not active and they are Christian by name. Otherwise, Jehovah Witnesses they have no place to, to grow in anywhere. I if you remember, I told you a story before that uh, two Jehovah Witnesses they come to my house. Then after sitting for a few hours, the other guy he got upset. That's it, he gave up. So he said to his friend, Let us go. The other guy he said, No, I'm not going. <laughs> They came two, they left one. Second day, they brought another guy. <laughs> so they came to corrupt me, and I made one of them accept the Messiah again. So if you are a person who do not know what, what they are talking about, what their belief even is about, you see those people, they are brainwashed four hours every day before they go out. Four hours. How many Christians they sit and sit four hours a day to study the Bible? We don't. Sadly, so those people they can target only the one who is not educated about the Bible only the same as a flu Attack you because your immune system it is weak in the right moment So you see there's a flu always around us, but not all of us will get sick Correct There's Ebola in Africa, but not everybody in Africa is infected with Ebola even though it's a very dangerous bacteria. So when your immune system is weak, anything can take you down. Islam can take you down. Jehovah's Witnesses can take you down. Anything. Because you are away from God. You are by yourself. You are just a name, a number. You are not a true Christian. Otherwise, they have no place. And this is why we should you know expose this cult the same as we expose Islam and you know today we did a very very easy job and I will come you know how many times we said Jehovah Witnesses call us call us call us nobody call as you see they did not call us why because they knew they are no match is that true they knew that they cannot stand talking to those per but, but if you are a person in the street they will they will surround you and the, and the second you ask a serious questions they run away So I hope people they will watch this video take notes and we did not give you everything by the way We are just showing you from here and there etc. Just to show you how we can get them busted This is what we do. We get liars busted and we are not against you If you are a Jehovah's Witnesses, we feel sorry for you 
because remember you believe in a cult believe only 144,000 they will go to heaven are you stupid or what why you want to even join such a cult is the is that bus is full one one hundred forty four thousand and just to show you how the corrupt this corrupt religion work how many times Jehovah's Witnesses they pre predict the end of the world the judgment day look at this clear proof that they are a cult nine seventeen ninety nine they, they, this is sorry the 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 uh, like their understanding, but they every few years they come with a new date. The Lord will come in this year. I know, I, I know, our people. Sadly, when I was in the Middle East, they sold their house, they sold their farm. They are rich people, re really rich. They are rich Christians. They used to be rich Christians. They joined Jehovah's Witnesses, and look what Jehovah's Witnesses Casino did to them. They told them you have to sell everything. The Lord is coming. The poor guy, he sold everything. Even he have his teeth. His teeth, he, they told him his teeth, his teeth, he have, he's an old man. He have a fake teeth. He told him, give it to somebody. You will not need it. He gave his teeth. And he was waiting for the date. And nobody show up. And the Lord did not come. And, now, and the guy, he became a homeless. Him and his family. From being wealthy, rich, etc. And now he have no teeth. No teeth. They made him let his teeth go. So every few years they predict the judgment day, the judgment day, and the judgment day never come. This is what all cults they do. How come your leaders they predict the wrong dates always? And isn't it the Bible says that the Lord will come the same as a thief in the middle of the night and nobody will know? Stupidity. This is what happened to you when you follow a cult. When you follow a cult, this is exactly what happened to you. You deserve it. You lose your home, you lose your life, you lose your, you, you lose everything. Let me type here in Google. How many times uh, witnesses predicted? end of time <laughs> okay how many time let us see there's other website okay this is in uh, Wikipedia I call it Wikipedia uh, they keep predicting, predicting, predicting the judgment day, and then they, they, they give up because people they, they they found that they are they are liars. They are liars. It's fake, it's false. 1878, 1881, 1914. And then they, they to solve this problem, they told them the Lord he came, but he was invisible. <laughs> <laughs> the Messiah he came but he was invisible and I was wondering why what was bushing my bushes in the backyard at that year me he came but invisible guess what You have invisible brain. <laughs> Look how many times. 19, 20, I mean, I mean, this is this is sick. This is stupid. 1975. They decide that the world will end. I mean, that's it. They keep going. And then at the end, they stop doing that because each time they do it, people they leave, they you know, they notice that this is a stupid cult. Predicting time after time after time. And aftermath, what happened? People left by tens, uh, tens of thousands from the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. The Bible says it clearly that no one knows but the Father. Liars.
don't mock Islam I'm not mocking Islam I just laugh at Allah don't ever make a mock Islam you know we uh, Islam is a wonderful religion it says beat your wife don't make mock Islam praise the religion says beat your wife brother this is what you are worried about don't mock Islam you idiot you are not worried about a book teaching beat your wife so you are you have no problem that your dad will beat your wife your mom and you are watching hey dad are you going to practice the Quran father uh, what verse brother son I beat my mom okay I will beat her uh, but the father be careful Yusuf Ali he says beat her lightly sure sure give me your belt so you are worried about mocking Islam you are not worried about your mother she being spanked as if she is a puppy in America if you beat a dog you go to jail you have no dignity Islam is for people who have no dignity because beating women is a is an act of a man who have no manhood in him a brave man will not beat a woman only cowards they would do that this is the fact why you want to beat a woman you want to show her that you are a man well, you wanna if you want to practice your muscles go go out and find a man in your size and fight with him then it's an act of coward it's an satanic teaching to say be it your wife so she will obey you man who cannot make his wife obey him by love he better not to marry your wife she can obey you because she love you not by beating her she is not a puppy she is not a donkey she is not a horse so you marry four and you want to beat them to obey you and this is a teaching of God obviously this is the teaching of the devil because the wife you are talking about she is the mother too, my mother I will never allow anyone to beat my mother over my dead body it doesn't matter who even if it's my dad And by the way my dad was a great man he go when my mom is sick he cook for her he is the first one to walk up in the morning and he make a coffee for her and in return she serve him as if he's a king but he serve her because he love her too that is life my friend this is not about beating you I beat you and you beat me what kind of marriage this marriage is she is sick. He is the one who make a breakfast. He is the one who put shoes in our feet one by one. You beat your wife. Your kids will disrespect you. Your God will dishonor you. Now we go back to Jewish cult. So as you see, Juju cult does not match anything of what they say. They say we believe in one true God, but they are confused. They believe in many gods. And they believe that Jesus himself is one of those gods. And they believe angels are God and creators. And, you know, the second you ask them questions, they have nothing to answer. They don't know what to answer. We recognize the Bible-inspired message. If you recognize the Bible as inspired message, so why you are adding words is not in the inspired message. Liars. So anyway, I hope we cover this topic very well. The video will be loaded again in different channels so you can download it. And uh, uh, I hope if you are from the Juju cult, you will leave the Juju cult. Convert to Islam, brother. At least in Islam, you will get a lot of versions. And here we go. What a difference between this guy and Muhammad. Muhammad, he told him the judgment day is come and the moon is split. Eh. But the moon never split and no judgment day come. And this is Jehovah's Witnesses. Next year, in the day of etc., we will have the judgment day. Okay, here we go. Sell your house, brother. Sell your house, sister. Give me your TV. Hey, if you are a Jehovah's Witnesses, by the way, uh, the Lord is coming next month. And uh, my my uh, my oh, uh, laundry machine is broken. So if you don't mind, you will not need it. Who is a Jehovah's Witnesses when I give me his washing machine? Hello? Hold on, I got an idea. Man, they are expensive. I'm going to join Jehovah's Witnesses and I will tell them 
I will spread the news that the, the, the Lord is coming next week and uh, I will open electronic store in Amazon, you know, and please, uh, this is the warehouse to put here all electronics uh, stuff and uh, nice to meet you. What a stupid cult. Isn't it obvious? Failure after failure. So my friend, to make it simple, if you are a Christian, never, never even let them get inside your house. The Bible says it clearly. Don't welcome them inside your house, those who teach false teaching, because they are coming to preach false teaching. Not, it's not about welcoming a stranger, no. The Jesus said, I was a stranger and you took me in. So when you take a stranger, you are doing, do, doing good work. But we are talking about people they are coming to deceive you and if you are not well armed with knowledge they can deceive you the devil is powerful my friend but the devil always powerful only with the weak one not with the one is armed with the word of god all right anyway i want to say thank you for being here may the lord bless you and I hope we cover this topic and I will try to go live on air tomorrow. But maybe tomorrow I will do it during daytime. I'm not sure. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And uh, we hope uh, that Jehovah's Witnesses will listen and they will see that their belief is really, really stupid. I mean, I, mean, I don't know. Oh, If you are a Jehovah's Witnesses, and you know when the judgment day is going to happen, please give me a call. Not because I want to sell my stuff, but I want to take your stuff. Mm -hmm. As I told you, I have my laundry machine is broken. Do you want Christian Prince to get dirty? Be honest. You are Jehovah's Witnesses. You don't accept that, do you? No way. So, eh, stupid things. People believe in stupid things always. If people believe in Muhammad, why they will not believe in Jehovah's Witnesses? I remember once there's a guy who was holding a flag. He wear like a Buddha, Buddhist uh, clothes, like a orange sheet, you know. And he walk in the street and he have a flag. It's have like it's a sign, not a flag. And he have a hand drawing of the sun. Every day, every day he walk. So I walked next to him. I wanted to know what this guy is doing. So I said to him, who is this? What is that? He says, this is God. I said, this is God? He said yes I said what it's his name he said the son I said but the son is there he said yeah but this is the sun I said so the, the one in the middle of the sky is what he said this is the star I said and this he said the sun I said so what the difference between them he said this one in my hand that one is not I said this is deep a brother this is very deep so now your God is in your hand he said yes do you feel better he said, absolutely, because he's in my hand. So you worship the sun? He said, yes. Which sun you worship? The one in the sky or the one in your hand? He said, the one in the sky. I said, so who's the one in your hand? He said, it is God. I said, but you just told me that the one who is God is the one in the sky. He said, yes. I said, but how, he, how it is in the sky and it is in your hand in the same time. He said, because this is drawing, don't you see? I said, that's what I'm saying. Is it a drawing or it's really God? He said, I feel God with me when I hold him with this stick. Obviously, those people, they are taking too much hashish, my friend. So he draw his God. He put him in a stick and he's holding him and it's a it's a sign of the sun and that make him God madness the same as you go to some Asian countries you see somebody is uh, uh, he have a little toy or plane a plane in front of it be careful my friend there's a lot of cults and cults are exist everywhere and all of them they will lead you to one place all of them so be aware the Messiah he said they will come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but in fact, they are false prophets and they are wolves. Be aware of false prophets. They will come to you in a clothes of a sheep. So they will not come to you in a clothes even of a prophet. They will claim first to be sheep. And that's what Muhammad did when he was weak. He was a sheep. 
He is the person who everybody can go to heaven. Everybody because they want to grow. And this is what cults are about. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam, and Jehovah Witnesses, and Mormon. All of them, they share the same thing. False God, false heaven, false belief, false books. And we are here to expose it. Take care. God bless. And Christ is Lord. Amen to that.